Hi there, it's Shelly Roxanne. Welcome to Food for Thought, a show where I'm mixing up a recipe of three of my favorite things, food, fun, and family. I'm new to the Miami area, and I'm on a quest to find the best places to eat, and that does not seem so hard to do. Miami is rich in culture and has delicious foods and incredible restaurants. I'm going to eat my way through this town. So pull up a chair and join me for some food for thought. I start my day early in the morning, maybe not so early, but early enough. And it usually started with breakfast with Jeff in a cafe, and then we'll take our morning walk and reflect upon the day. What are we doing? What's the plan? And usually then go to the radio station or to a meeting or a book signing or speaking or mindset coaching. And all of this has to be done before my babies get home. Because when that happens, I'm in mommy mode. And I don't always, although I'd like, I don't have the time to cook all the time. So what do I do? I can't always get my family to the restaurant, but I can get the restaurant to my family. Hi, I'm here in beautiful Doral, Miami, here at Il Forno, and I'm here to pick up food for dinner tonight. I cannot wait to have this delicious Italian food. You don't want to miss this. Come on with me. inside of Il Forno Restaurante with its owner, Ciro Manetti. And Ciro, as you know, uh, we talked about earlier, I am looking to create a meal for the family. My boys are finicky eaters, so I want to introduce them to new foods. Can you recommend something? What's the special for tonight? Okay, tonight we have three different dishes. Mm -hmm. Signature dishes from this place, from the Il Forno. The, the first one will be a veal chop, a fungi misti. That, say that, say that. Veal chop. Veal chop. Uh huh. A fungi misti. Okay. That uh, will, el fungi misti. Yeah, with the, right. with mixed mushrooms. Oh, mixed mushrooms. That's what that means. Okay. Yeah. And we prepare that in our wood burn oven. Mm -hmm. The chef prepares that. Okay. The lasagna is one of our also a signature dish. Okay, and then the and third, the third one, one, we pick a Brancino. Which is fish. Which is fish from Greece. It's a uh -huh. fresh Brancino, fresh you fish. You fly it in. Exactly. Okay. Is it here yet? It's here. It's I know I just arrived. Yeah. Okay, just arrived. Okay. Yeah. Hi there, everyone. It's Shelly Roxanne, and you're listening to Optimistic Radio. Today, our topic is about living an optimistic lifestyle. And you cannot cover that without talking about Irma Bombeck's famous column, If I Had My Life to Live Over Again. Irma talked about what she would do differently if she had her life to do over again. You know what? We don't have to wait for that. We can do it now. Irma said, leave those dishes in the sink, use the good china, burn those candles that have been sitting around for years collecting dust. But the most important part that Irma covered is she said, given another shot at life, I would seize every moment, look at it, really see it, live it, and never give it back. Your life is an occasion. Rise to it. So how did this come about, this restaurant, Il Forno? Well, Il Forno came because not so many places cook in the wood burning oven. We also prepare other type of fishes. We prepare also pizzas. The, the bread, the house bread is prepared also here. You prepare most of the meals in the kitchen and then finish it off. Some of them we finish it off Is here. this the way it's typically done in Italy or? Yeah, there is a lot of dishes, a lot of places that cook with the wood burner oven. Okay. As we do. Well, let's get to the cooking. I decided to get three different types of dishes. And dishes, honestly, that can be heated up and can travel. You don't want to get something like a risotto or a pasta that by the time you get home, it's mush. So you get something, if I have to throw a salad together with it, it's okay. So I picked up a branzino. This fish is light and delicious. It's 
with a buttery sauce with wine. Amazing, and artichokes incredible. Then I also picked up lasagna. That is Il Forno's signature dish. This stuff definitely will cause some problems in your house if you don't get enough. So I highly recommend if you're gonna get the lasagna, you get a few pieces because you will definitely be fork fighting over that with no problem. And then there's an incredible, delicious, thick, fat veal chop. The veal chop is covered with mushrooms and onions and oh, I'm getting hungry right now. Hi, I'm here with Rudy and Rudy is the executive chef here at Il Forno. And so Rudy, what are you gonna make first for us tonight? Okay, we're gonna make the veal chop. Veal chop, it's okay. The first cut on the veal chop. Okay. So it's gonna be with the mixed mushrooms. Can I eat some bread while we talk? Yeah. This yeah, bread yeah. is amazing. It's oh good. my goodness. Bread is good. It's, it's yeah. low fat, right? A uh, little bit. Oh, so little yeah. bit. It's high, yes, high gluten flour. I had glad okay, to, I, no, 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 no cholesterol. You say yes. <laughs> you can lie. So, oh, no cholesterol. Okay, yeah. I feel better now. Okay. Il Forno is an incredible Italian restaurant here in Miami. They serve secret kind of drug. It is bread. That bread is amazing. You must, if you're going to do takeout, you must order a few pieces because you will eat one or two on the way home. It is guaranteed. The bread is amazing. Okay, okay so the veal chop. The veal okay. chop is a, uh, we have it here. So there is a, it's a first cut, veal oh, chop. Oh, wow. That's so beautiful. We have three kinds of mushrooms here. Yes. Regular mushrooms. Yes. Shiitake mushrooms uh -huh. and porcini mushrooms. Porcini. Is porcini is Italian. Yeah, that's yes. the porcini mushroom. Mm. So this is the veal chop, yes. already clean. Yes. Are you dressed? Do you season this? Do you yeah, do we're going to season it. Okay. We're gonna... A secret seasoning? No, it's a simple. So yeah, the, <laughs> the quality of the meat is so good, you don't need to oh, okay. season so that's it so important. much. We're back, and you're on with Shelly Roxanne. I want to take a caller. I want to hear about those special family memories about family, fun, and food. You're on. Hi, Shelly. Hi. How you doing? I, I have a story, a great story. Uh, my father used to come home every Thursday night and bring us some of the best food from out from, from the restaurant. Okay. And yeah, well, man, we used to love when he came home at seven o'clock. My pops was a bus driver, man. And he came home with that food, and we would eat for days and have leftovers for the next day. Wow, awesome. Well, I appreciate that, and I agree. It really is about those three. That's my favorite recipe. Food, family, and fun. And if I can mix those three together, there's nothing else like it. So now we have the pan in the oven. It's getting warm. Woo! It's hot now. Let me put some oil. Mm -hmm. A little bit. It's a, a extra virgin oil. We put it here, we put that, it in the oven. That was just in there for... Yeah, you just leave it there like 15 minutes. It takes like 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Cook, you yeah, just that throw one. it in there. Yeah, it, uh, you can... Uh, it has different temperatures. Right. They will, you know, it could be medium, medium rare, or, now with that or well done. One, with that one chop that feed one person, that's it's one, one One, one person. Okay. One person, yeah. I believe every time I have the opportunity to sit down with my family and share a meal, it is a special occasion. So take out the good china. That's what I'm doing tonight and every night going forward. I am not going to pass up the dessert cart no matter what they think. I am going to eat the dessert and I'm going to let my kids, as much as I don't like them with sweets so much, I'm going to let them eat cake. We're back in Il Forno with Rudy and that veal is almost ready. He's about to take it out of the oven. I cannot wait to see what it looks like. Rudy, let's okay. get out of Il Forno. This is the veal. Oh! We're doing it. Amazing! We put a little bit of garlic. Oh, so you have, oh! It smells amazing! No, all the flavor Rosemary, <laughs> my friend. Put it in there. Okay. Put it back in the oven. 
back in for how long? Yeah, two seconds. Two seconds. Yeah, just to put some wine in there. Okay. Don't forget the wine. You gotta always have the wine. White wine. Oh. That's And we need good. a demi glaze. It's amazing. It smells delicious. Can't wait to eat. <laughs> My first date with Jeff was funny because I didn't want him to think that I cooked because I didn't want to build up the expectation. I really wanted to keep it a secret in all honesty. I figured if he liked me and I didn't cook, then he would really love me when he found out I could cook. So what I did was on our first date, I went out to a restaurant and I ordered a beautiful meal, a surf and turf. I came back, I put it into my dishes, I put the candles on, I laid it on thick, trust me. And he came in and I was fabulous and he saw this fabulous food and saw me, he was done at that point. And he said, you made this? And I said, I made the call. Well, we're finishing up with the lasagna as we are waiting for the veal to just get that beautiful brown color to the sauce. We're going to throw the lasagna in to get that gratiné on the lasagna. That is amazing. It looks good just like that. I can yeah. <laughs> get a fork. I have three of the most incredible children. That's all I have to tell you. Evan, Taylor, and Miles. They are the most delicious. I know everybody thinks their kids are perfect, but mine really are. One of them is an Olympic hopeful. One of them is definitely going to, I'm already saving space on the shelf for his Heisman Trophy. And the other, there's space on the shelf for his Oscar. They are all incredible. And anytime I get a chance to spend with them, it's a special occasion. Thank God for me every day, is a special occasion in my house. We try to spend at least one meal a day together, even if we sit there for 30 minutes. As much as we're running and doing from swim meets to football practice and cello practice, as much as we can, we try to get together because a family that eats together succeeds together. has to be the perfect bite. Get the mushrooms in there. Mmm. It is so amazing. So tender. Yep. It is perfectly. The wine you taste, there's a sweetness. The one, Oh, it's delicious. Unbelievable. Mmm. Oh. I used to be in this weight loss program, I'm not gonna say the name, <laughs> that they said nothing tastes as good as thin fields. They have not had this lasagna or this field. They haven't had it. That is a lie, this is amazing. Oh my God, I hope it gets home because I'll be eating it in the car the whole way. I hope it makes it home. Delicious, wow, thank you so very much. Thank you. I know we're supposed to go in the kitchen for the fish, but I'm afraid to walk away from this food so amazing it's so delicious i cannot wait to serve it to the family they're going to love it we'll be right back you're listening to shelly roxanne and you know what if you're like me and you're a busy parent and you're running around and you're feeling guilty guilt that's the gift that keeps on giving wouldn't you say you're feeling guilty you can't cook for the family you don't have time you don't have time to spend the kind of time that you want with your children but you know what it's not about the quantity of the time it is about the quality of the time we are in in la cocina in el forno and all you did was just the basic seasoning yeah the salt flour, pepper and the like i say if the product is good you if don't need to put the product is good you don't have to do much yeah. see that this is what i always say yeah. You don't have to do much if you're working with the right thing from the beginning. Yeah. Okay. Please. Okay. Oh, yum. Don't forget.
get that little part. Yeah. Leave nothing out. Wow. <laughs> okay. This. Oh. This is amazing. Very light. So. It, it melts in your mouth. Yeah. Oh, it's. Nice fish. This is delicious. It's tr oh my goodness. The boys, this is amazing. Seriously, this is absolutely amazing. I can't wait to get it home. Thank you so much. <laughs> With the meal, I had to pair a wine and also get dessert. It was really convenient as you're on the run because I was able to get the wine right there at Il Forno. They have an incredible wine cellar that's beautiful and I was able to get Ciro to teach me because I'm new to wines. So I really wanted to find out what I could pair with the meals that I was getting. So he introduced me to this incredible Pinot Nero which is a very dark wine. It was really, really sweet and very delicious. It was soft and very nice. And then a white wine to go with the fish. So I'm so excited to have that and introduce that to Jeff. Of course not the boys, okay? Don't write me any letters. I did not serve wine to my boys. But uh, I'm new to the wine world, as I said, so this is an opportunity for us to learn some wines. And here in Miami, you can get wine in the grocery store. There is wine everywhere. This is wine country. And then I had to have a dessert because you always, what? You never pass up the dessert cart, right? So I went right next door to Grazie Dio, an incredible Italian delicatessen and bakery, and they had some incredible treats over there. So I picked up some bacce de dama and bacce de dama cacao. That sounds fancy, right? I know you're impressed. That is actually a little cookie, little round cookie with vanilla in it. And it's just a mouth size bite that's perfect. The boys will love this. And then of course, profiteroles, which will top off the dessert perfectly. We are going to have a great dinner tonight. Can't wait. I couldn't wait to get home and serve up those three delicious dishes. Taylor and Miles had the veal with those delicious mushrooms. Jeff had the branzino and I had that signature lasagna. I hope they share with me again. They don't know that I tasted it already. Maybe I can get some more. I believe our story begins at home and it's so important to share with your family and spend quality time with them. And we as busy people, me as an entrepreneur, a radio talk show host, and all the other millions of things that I do, the most important thing to me is actually to get home and to hug up on my babies and to love on them and to let them know that they are blessed and highly favored. That's really what it's about. It is empowering words, inspiring them, because we want to be the heroes and sheroes in their life. And we turn off the television, and it's that time to spend with the family. This is really important today because so often people are running from here to there and they're passing each other in the hallways of the home and are not actually talking. It's time to get back to talking. So even at dinner, sit down and just talk. How was your day? Play a game. We actually can do questions and we go around and say, what are you thankful for? And ask each person across the table to tell you what they're thankful for. You'll be amazed when you get to know your kids, how awesome they really are. Miles, if you could have dinner with anyone, alive or dead, who would it be and why? It would be Nana because I wanted to talk to her again. Aww. Wow. Nana is my mother who passed away not long ago. Nana was a bright light in our family. She was a certified foodie who never met a meal she didn't love. She was a strong presence in our family and we miss her so very much. I had no idea 
that Miles still had questions for Nana and wanted to talk to her again. See what I mean? We learn so much about our children and what's really on their hearts if we just take the time to sit down and talk to them. That's how Food for Thought was born. It's mixing a recipe of three of my favorite things, food, fun, and family. And if I have the opportunity to get all three of those together, it is the bomb.com. It is amazing. And that's exactly what I want every day that I can have it is a special occasion. If I can get that food, fun, and family together, I am happy. And that's how Food for Thought was born. I like to give my family not just good food, but good inspiration. And inspiration, like I always say, is just like bathing. It doesn't last. That's why you have to do it every day. Now that's Food for Thought.